Welcome, this is Baller Scuba with another random game. This is going to be Robot Pinball Escape. Now, this is quite a unique game as far as I know. I haven't played anything like it before. Uh, we'll go with Tilt. Even though he doesn't have the awesome helmet, he is shinier and more colorful. So I will go for Tilt. Now, this game... As you can see, we are a robot. I don't know if you could tell from the sprites, but we're robots. This game takes place on a giant pinball course. Look at this. That is awesome. We are this robot. We can transform into the pinball. And it's actually a little bit easier to be the pinball. Now, our, our objective here is to drop, to hit all these targets. Now, by hitting the left mouse button, I can um, uh, boost, I guess they call it. Basically, go forward. And I hit all those. How many do I got left? I got three. There they are. No, I want to go this way. All right, we can transform back into the robot and back into the ball. Nope, this way. And, oh, that hit it. That hit it. There. Uh... Oh, now I can go on to this thing right here. Very nice graphics, I must say. Uh, for this part, you need to be a ball in order to go there. Now I have more targets to take care of. As a robot, I can punch, knock these things out. I have a time limit here, though, so I want to be able to do this fairly quickly. I think I need to be in robot form to take care of this. No! Damn it. All right. There's... There's a few of them. Now let's head back the other way. Whoa, that was a little glitchy there. That's fine. We can do this, robot. I think you're. I think you were tilt. Go tilt. Punch. Punch. And, and oh, now I can launch. I'm using that thing right there. The timer has stopped, so I can take my time. Everything is loud in here. It is a pinball machine, after all. Let's head up here. And do I have to be a in a ball? I don't. Roll through the lanes. I don't think I did that right. I think I did need to be a ball. I don't. I don't see the lanes. Oh, they're down there. So let's turn back into a ball now. We can go through the lanes. And this is pretty much how the game works. You, you get a, a few little objectives. You can transform into a ball or not to uh, a ball into a robot. Back onto the launch pad. It is where are we headed this time. Roll through. The, what the hell? That was not cool. Boost. Send me back up, back up there. So now, what? It won't let me, like, st stay there. I'm not even pressing any buttons when I'm in the air. It's just not... All right, let's just turn into a robot. That way, I can land here. All right. So, no. No, I'm not very good at marbles. So, that is why I can transform into the robot. It's a safety net. Hooray for safety net. Let's go through two of those. And I, I can turn a lot better as a robot, so I'm going to... See, look, I, I almost failed at that, and I was pointing right at it. That is how bad I am at that. I'm probably not supposed to be using the robot at all, but I will. All right, back to the launch. Let's go. Let's launch me back. Roll into the bumpers. All right. Two out of five, they said. Let's hit the bumpers again. We just need to hit these a few times. Nope, back up there. Actually, let's get hit by the uh, let's get hit by the flippers down here. We haven't done that yet. There we go. So you can do that. It works just like a regular pinball machine. But I'm not controlling it. You know, I'm just I'm just the ball, which is an interesting concept, I must say, <laughs> where I get to control the ball, but but not the. Uh, but not the flippers. I, I believe that has been done before, but I have never been a robot that can transform into a ball. This is, I don't know if this would qualify me for the Transformers, but I put my vote in. Oh, damn it. Now, you can regain health um, by, by hitting obstacles here. There we go. There we go. Got a good combo there. Uh, when you get hit... 
as a robot, your health starts deplete, depleting, and that is indicated by the green bar that you can see above there. Navigate to the ship piece. I can get it. Oh, all these bumpers. These are no good. I don't like these bumpers. Over here, and up, and there's the piece. Alright, three pieces collected. Let's just roll down here. Now, what do you want me to hit down here? Oh. I see three things. I don't know if I see all of them. Oh, they're, they're just up here. It's a place we haven't been before. Hit these. Just, you know what? Punch them. Just punch them. Damn it! And now I can no longer be the robot. I am out of health, so I just need to uh, stay as the ball here. Kind of as a punishment for getting hit a few times. All right, go back onto the launch pad. Sorry, navigate to the ship piece. Can I hit this? Where? No, there was. There it was. I missed it. It looks like I do have to hit the piece in or the the little circle thing in order to move the platform, so I can take care of that. No. I wasn't expecting it to go that fast. Get back here. Come on, back here. I don't like all these sounds that are going on. I can't make that jump. Damn you. I want the ship piece. I'm so close. The timer is counting down. Yeah, oh, they're not synchronized. That's not cool. They're not synchronized at all. And now I'm stuck. Okay, I don't think I'm going to have time for this one. I don't think I'm going to have time at all. 15 seconds to go. Hit that. How the hell did that get up here? Nine. Come on. Five. Four. Three. Come on. No. No! I was right here. I was right there. Damn you. Now I have to go down here and hit these things again. So there's no real penalty, I guess, to uh, to missing these. It's just you have to do the little pre-qualifier thing again. Okay, let's do this again. All right, somehow that thing landed up here. It must have gone on the launcher pad. That is cool, though, that it could actually do that. But at the same time, it's a little bug, I would think. Okay, now we can make this easily with a minute to spare. Four or five collected, and they're not giving us anything else. We just need to head back up here. The controls are, well, as you might expect, a little difficult at times because it is hard to control a moving ball. Once again, yes, thank you. Okay, navigate to the ship piece. I'm doing this almost exclusively as a robot. I don't care, but it looks like I should be doing it. Oh, I have to do it as a ball. I'm scared. I'm scared, you guys. Uh, no, they said I cleared it. That's good enough for me. I'm scared of those bumpers. These things right there. Damn you! That's why I was scared of you! Ah, uh, no! Launch me back up! Come on. Yes, there. Alright. Way is mostly cleared. Mostly cleared now. I still have to avoid the bumpers in robot form. I can make it to the ship piece. Come on. All right, unlock the gate. Hit this. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, I barely made that. Come on, over here. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. Now hit this. Yes. And I have the fully. Yes, I have the ship. Get to the rocket. Boom! Get in there! And we have launched the rocket! And away it goes! And that's the game! 
very nice game. I must say, it is relatively short. I would love if they could do, like, multiple levels, maybe even a level designer for this. I know that would be, like, ridiculously hard for them to make, but, you know, this has, this has a lot of potential, and I hope they continue with it. Unfortunately, I don't think they are planning on continuing with it. I have a lot of fun with this game. You know, you get to be a robot, you get to be a pinball. And it's, it's just a little time waster, I think. It works out pretty damn good, I must say. Newton's Apprentice. apprentice. <laughs> ah, the physics master. Platforming rock star. The Flash. He was quick. I believe. The art team. Yeah, world builder. Yeah, if, we, if that could be set up for, you know, like level design, custom level design, I think that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, but once again, I know that's probably going to be pushing uh, what this team, I believe, it is really willing to put into this project, to be honest with you, because this was created at the University of Utah. It is actually made in college, so I don't know if they're really willing to push this any further than um, than what they have already done. But like I said, there is a ton of potential here, I, I, I believe. And I would love to see them continue it. Uh, like I said, a, a custom level design, multiple levels, like maybe ten levels of this, and you could easily, I believe, sell this for you know money, <laughs> which is probably not necessarily what they were trying to get out of this. But I feel it was a fun game anyway. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is going to do it for. Robot Pinball Escape. I've been Baller Scuba. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.